So welcome back. We're going to be working now on the motherboard. So what we want to do, we want to get the <coughs> um, fan and heat sink attachment off first. So there's a little clip here. So remove the connection. Just gently backwards and forwards. These are really delicate. If you break these, you're in trouble because you will need a new motherboard. So just prise that off. Turn over the um, motherboard and see this properly actually um there we go so get your screwdriver and you will take the fan and heat sink off the motherboard underneath this section here is the cpu the all important cpu where you're going to apply the thermal compound so take this off just undo the screws Be careful when you're taking this off. Don't yank it, otherwise you may well um, dislodge the CPU that's on there. So just gentle movements. Obviously make sure the um, screws are loose enough. And that should come off quite straightforward. Um, just loosen the screws a bit further and there we have it so that is your fan as you can see it's clogged up with all kinds of gunk in here so we'll give this a clean um, that is the part of the fan cover that connects onto the CPU so you can see there's a bit of thermal paste on there already so we'll remove that I did this years ago so it's had thermal paste but I'm going to put a new coating on that is your CPU, so you want to clean this off now. So put everything to one side, get your rubbing alcohol, and apply a bit to a clean cloth, and just lightly take away the existing stuff that's on there. Um, doesn't matter if you get it on there. Be careful not to get it on the circuit board or anything. Um, so rub away there and you'll see it's coming off there on the cloth. Um, get yourself a cotton bud, Q-tip I think as they call them in the States. Um, and just wipe that nice and clean. So rub away. Just cleaning that surface up. Put a bit more on. And that will dry out quite quickly. Like that. So there we go. That is now nice and clean. Can you see that? So I leave that to dry. I'm going to just wipe away any grime and dirt that's around anything while you've got everything out. Um, and then the same on the um, brass plate here on the um, fan itself. Just rub that away. You want that to be nice and clean to start all over again. So put a bit more on there. Let's see that on there. Clean it off. And the same with the fan. So. I just got to blow into here to remove any of the dust and stuff. So, probably see it flying out of the fan. So, depending on how bad that is, it might be um, completely gunked up. Um, just give it a nice clean. Um, Get as rid of as much as you can. We can't see me doing that. Here we go. So just blow it out. Um, get yourself a cotton bud again. Put a bit of the alcohol in. And then just clean out in between the vents. Like that. Getting any stuff out of the way. Um, 
doesn't have to be perfect it depends how um, anally you are about these things actually but if you've got it apart it's well worth doing it properly because you don't want to be doing this too often it is quite daunting and quite laborious so I try and do it as well as I can so clean all the in between all the gaps like that so you've got a nice clean fan there just give it a little rub around and then the same on the back as well you're just cleaning away any build up there because the reason they get hot and things start to slow down is because the fan obviously once it's clogged up is having to work far harder to keep the laptop cool and that is when the problems begin and your laptop becomes really uncomfortable to handle and everything else so just give the fan as thorough clean as you can clean the um, contact plate so you're left with a nice clean surface on there and you're left with a nice clean surface on your CPU. So again, I'm just gonna clean that off so it's absolutely pristine and ready for some thermal compound to be lined. Speed up the drying process if you want with your cloth. And you're ready to apply the compound. So thermal comp. Now is with this only a pluck a P size amount just in the centre. Uh, you're gonna make compound. Pop it on. The pressure of these two then will spread the compound out over the uh, fan, making a nice clean contact. Hold it on. Just hold it down for a couple of seconds. Ten seconds maybe. Make sure your connection's through the gap there too. back plate on here as well bit of dust there so you're then ready to screw that system back into place do it Diagonals because you don't want to have the um, thing move around and then upset the compound that's underneath. So that pressure there will then make contact with the compound, spread it and even create a really nice barrier which will, in theory, prevent your CPU from overheating and causing you the problems of laptop overheating and the fan having to work too hard. So that effectively is how to apply the thermal compound to your CPU. Um, any questions just drop me a line, comment, like, hate, whatever you want to do on the video. Thanks for watching, hopefully it's all straightforward um, and I'll see you again soon. Thank you, bye now.